ride with us. Thank you for choosing us. Good afternoon from SeaTac Airport. Today I'm flying to Iceland on Iceland Air 682. Join me on today's flight experience and trip report. This is my first time visiting Iceland and I'm really excited. I wasn't excited about this check-in line, but it was fairly painless and quick. Note that my ticket came with one free check bag at 50 pounds, as well as a carry-on bag at 22 pounds and a personal item. They asked me what my personal item was, which was my backpack, and no further questions were asked. Seattle was my home for nine years, so I'm familiar with this airport. So to get to the South Concourse, you have to take the underground train. From the B gates, go all the way to the end until you find the escalators, and you'll see signs leading you to it. Take that down to the platform, and it'll take just a few minutes on the train to get to the S gates. Today my flight is departing from S3. Right now it looks very busy with the afternoon bank of international flights heading out to Europe. Now here at the gate we play the waiting game as the inbound flight is late and will be about 30 minutes late on departure. Here comes our plane from Reykjavik. Today I'm flying on this 23 year old Iceland Air Boeing 767-300ER. It's registered Tango Foxtrot Dash India Sierra Oscar. It started out with Air New Zealand before it was delivered from Transaero Airlines on May 11, 2016. I'm not going to try to pronounce the name of it, so here's what it's named and the meaning behind it. We're just about ready to start boarding. One of the things I noticed was how many bags were being gate checked. Iceland Air does offer an economy light think basic economy, so maybe the bags were a bit too big or too heavy. Economy class boards back to front. I'm in row 26, so I'm in the second boarding group. Our boarding group was just called, and now my Iceland adventure is about to begin. So far, the boarding process seems a bit hectic with people standing around even if their group wasn't called yet. What's up with that? Now part of the reason for the slow check-in was also passport checks. This is actually the second check after they checked my passport at the check-in area. Welcome on board Iceland Air 682 to Keflavik. The cabin doesn't look too old and the seats look decently padded. You didn't see it, but the Saga Business class is arranged in a 212 configuration while well, regular economy is 232. There's my seat for the 6 hour 45 minute flight to Keflavik. I'll be seated in 26A, a window seat. There's a small pillow there, but no blanket or amenity kits. There are seat back monitors. There's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And above that is a USB port. Your source of power if you want to charge your device. There are between 31 and 33 inches of pitch though I think my seat is at 31 inches. The seat width is 17.6 inches. And the back rest width is also 17.6 inches. Huh? There you go. That's gonna be my view for the six hour, 45 minute flight out to Iceland. Thank you. 
under section club with the trophy of Jimmy Nobles Mona and your deductions. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome for the captain speaking. My name is Corey Lesson. We are about to be ready for departure. We're climbing up to 35,000 feet to start with. The route is good. However, are we expecting left or close on the way? Nothing to worry about. And flying time is 6 hours and 40 minutes. Hope you enjoy the flight. Okay, thanks. Hello, here. If you feel it is a free. Nú á hann farðu hverju við fara okkur sólvega að vera skorðar undir sæti fyrir framanni gul Það þess að sitja við neyðar og gangur og verðum að gæta þess að allur hann farðu gul sí hólfið fyrir að sæti bæði frumtæki og lendingu Spennið sæti spennið hafi sæti spurt Such a beautiful afternoon for this flight. Six hours and 45 minutes is nothing compared to my marathon flights across the Pacific. So all that to say, enjoy our takeoff. touchscreen monitor seems pretty responsive. There is a map and it's kind of nice although it plays in a loop so you can't really customize it. Eh, none of the movies or TV shows appeal to me. I like to watch the map as you can tell. Guess like always make sure you have some entertainment downloaded onto your phone or tablet or laptop. I probably should try to sleep if at all possible. check out the music selection. Eh, there's nothing that really sticks out to me either. I guess I'll be listening to the music on my phone instead. wonder what happens if I tap on Iceland. It's in there. Eh, there's nothing really appealing in there either. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick tour of the IFE and gives you an idea of what to expect if you fly on this airline. So one thing to remember if you fly on Iceland Air, there are no complimentary meals in economy. It's all by and board. However, you can bring your own food. And remember, this is cashless, so have your credit card ready to spend or some Iceland Air points. Non-alcoholic beverages like water, juice, and soft drinks are free. So definitely take advantage of that while you eat the food you brought on board. The last two pages promote the bus service into Reykjavik, about 45 minutes from the airport. 
Your hotel or accommodation is probably near one of these bus stops too. First round of beverages includes this cup of water, along with this incredible sunset over Canada. I'll try to get some sleep, and I'll need to keep these window shades closed. We'll see how that goes since there's a lot of scenery out there. We are pretty far north, and at this time of the year, we're close to having the midnight sun. And the sun won't really go below the horizon this entire flight. So I'll just shut up and let you enjoy the few bits of scenery and midnight sun I could get. I don't want to be that guy, if possible, who leaves the window open and lets light in. Man, I love this. We're passing right over Greenland right now. It's one of the most unique and mysterious places for this Southern California kid to see. So much ice and snow. Anyway, I'll shut up again and let you enjoy the scenery. With that announcement, let's wrap up this trip report. First, it's a little hard to tell if Iceland Air is full service or not. For example, make sure you have a meal before the flight and bring some snacks if you don't want to pay for any in-flight food. Second, it seemed a bit random when they came to bag checks and when something got gate checked. I don't understand how it worked, but I didn't have to worry since I already checked my bag in. I had one free to check with my fare. Third, the crew seemed friendly enough. And fourth, this is the most direct flight and non-stop flight into Iceland from most of the United States. Unfortunately for me, I had to come in from LA, so I had to stop in Seattle for a few hours. So if you want a middle of the pack price, not an LCC price where you have to pay for a bunch of stuff extra, and not an expensive airline like Delta, United, or their alliance partners, Iceland Air might be a good choice. So all that to say, welcome to Iceland, and I will enjoy myself here in this island country.
Thanks for joining me on Iceland Air 682 from Seattle to Kapovik. We'll see you next time.